Welcome back to Need for Speed Heat, guys. Now, I finally built a 350Z, the car that I actually own in real life. Bam, there it is. Yeah, it's gorgeous, it's fast, it's loud, it's silly. I don't know why it took me, what, almost two months to build this car in the game? Anyway, we went full Rocket Bunny, besides the wing. I just want to point something out, okay? No, 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 customization, body. Let's go to this wing, Big Country Labs wing, okay? I just want to point out, you see how high it's mounted on the trunk? It's supposed to be back, the, the back of that bracket is supposed to touch the taillights and then there's a little piece that curves around to the side. Uh, I've seen a couple in real life. And the fact that it sits up that extra like couple of inches, like the, the edge of that, the, the trunk of the wing, whatever you want to call it, uh, I can't think it's... 7.32 in the morning, I've been up all night, all right? <laughs> it should be pushed farther back so it kind of meets like the, the end of the bumper a little better. I just want to say, Ghost, get your shit together, all right? So either way, gorgeous. So as far as engines, what do we have? What, what do we put in this thing? 3.5 liter V6. I don't know what you're thinking. That engine comes with it. No. Okay, this is the Forge version. Sounds more like a Z than this one does. This one almost sounds like an R35, even though it's not an R35. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. But anyway, the Forge one bumps my 0 to 60 up, my max torque, but it drops the horsepower and the top speed. Uh, so yeah, it's a little goofy. So I went ahead and changed the gearbox to a seven speed versus the six speed that I had, which drops it a lot. Problem with, actually I might go five speed, but no. Yeah, I might test that out. The six speed was uh, first and second gear and even third gear were just spinning. Like I couldn't get traction, so it was dropping my lap times. Wrapping my lap cams. Actually, I'm gonna go test this out real quick. All right, after some further testing, the 3.5 liter V6, not the forged version, uh, is the best. So I took them to the bridge where you can like start at like the dark concrete and just haul through the bridge and go through the speed trap. So the forged engine clocked a 193 mile an hour, while just the regular 3.5 liter V6 clocked a 199. And acceleration just feels better in this one. Um, now, I went to a five speed, and it seemed like the acceleration wasn't, I didn't test it on the drag. I guess we can go and test on the drag real quick. Yeah, let's go, let's go test it six speed and the five speed on that uh, speed trap real quick. See what clock's a better time. So if you look at the live tuning, actually this, no matter how high or how low you go, nothing changes. So I think I was doing there. That's where I, that's where I have, God. There, there you go. It just doesn't change. So we're keeping it like that, that. 235 top speed. I think in the, uh, the engine menu, it says 234. Weird. It still sounds like a 350, which is, I don't, I don't know, that's weird. Let's go test out the five speed and the six speed, see which clock's a higher time. And then uh, throw it around some tracks. Now, I've always loved the 350. I bought, I bought mine, what, six years ago now? I've got the 2007 HR engine, which as you know, is way better than the DE engines. Uh, I've got like full bolt-ons tune, all that good stuff. So this is a six speed. Let's see what we can do. Six speed. Got a lot of wheel spin off the line, even with the uh, downforce up. So we get what we get. Boom! Like I said, a 199, right? The other end did 193. At least, so that's consistent run back and drop the five speed in it. If anybody is not aware of this spot, it's a good spot to uh, 
That's the acceleration of different cars against each other. See so kind of where they, you know, stack. Nope, nope, too much. Yep, yep. Okay. All right. What do we want? Five speed. What do I want? Five speed. What do we want? It? No. All right. So we lose. We lose acceleration. But it's not much. Let's see. Let's see what we do. It is giving her longer. So I feel like the tire spin is not going to really be as crazy. My main issue is when I'm coming out of the corners. I just, yeah, let's see 196. So we're just going to suck it up and run with the six speed. Six speed it is. All right, there's your test. Bam, done. All right, we're just going to do Intimidator. Traction, what are you? Is that what I mean? Like, it just... But, I don't know what this is going to run. I haven't tried it yet. This might take me a couple tries. Either or, this thing accelerates insanely fast. It just feels good. It feels real good. This looks sexy. Like, how can you hate the 350? You can't. Ugh. All right, we have to do it. Oh, the lights actually work on this Rocket Bunny kit? Wow. Look at that. Amazing. All right, here we go. See, the other cars hook up way better. I would have been in front of that BMW by now. Okay, all right, we did not want to go through that corner. Nah, I'm gonna stay straight, bud. If I set the downforce a little lower, I'll be able to whip it through the corners better. Yeah, we're gonna have to. It's just too sticky. Alright. Put the downforce back in the center. Let's see what happens with that. Too wide on that. Too wide. Come on, Z. Gotta learn every single one of these cars again. Oh, come on. All right, we dumbed the difficulty down. We should be good to go this time. I didn't think it was gonna hook. Finally did. Last second. This acceleration is quick though, man. Yeah, it's just not, uh, we're gonna have to dumb it down some more. Hopefully this is the last <laughs> try. now but kind of need that Z is very hard to handle it just it's not the easiest road car I've driven if I could just get a little more grit man I feel like it'd be all right I'm gonna have to go back to e-brake slide with this thing instead of uh, double tapping the throttle to get a little skid going. That 40 would already been done. Ooh, that's our slowest time. Ugh, that is our slowest time. NSX did the 252.13. Ugh. It feels so fast, though. Like, the acceleration feels so good. I'm gonna give it another try. Ugh, that was even worse. Ugh. Wow.
I'm very disappointed with this car that it cannot get a good time. It's very hard to handle as a race build. It's just like it doesn't want to. Ugh. I'm disappointed. I'm a sad boy right now. Let's go try Stardust and see what we can clock on Stardust. Here we are in Stardust. Let's see what we can do on this. I'm honestly not expecting too much. We'll see what happens. Just had such a hard time hooking up. My own car has let me down. I mean, I'll probably still drive it every once in a while, but as far as like really setting good times, it's just not cutting it, man. I mean, it could be, I'm just having an off day, but like I did try some other cars before this and I was setting some good lap times. Hook up, come on, hook up, jeez. It doesn't have great cornering, turn in capabilities, like it just doesn't wanna, doesn't wanna go. Five seconds behind our <laughs> S2K on the leaderboard. Now that was with mistakes, obviously, but you know, mm, I can't live with that. I can't live with that. Do it again. Is that a 151? I cannot set a good time with this car. It's bad. It's so bad. It feels so quick though. I guarantee you if you put that up against like the Lotus that we just tested, like it would kill it in acceleration. What is going on? Ow. Disappointment. It's such a pretty car. Why do you suck? Why are you bad? Why are you bad? I mean. Like, it just, does that not feel fast? I don't know, man. So, I guess the 350 is just not a good time attack car. It's just not good for setting lap times. I can't even, like, get close to the last place on our leaderboards. That sucks. My own baby let me down. Kind of disappointed. I was hoping it would be uh, decent. Did it still compete online? Of course, because you're always going to have people of varying skills. But uh, yeah, this is just not. It can't keep up with uh, some of the other cars, man. Yeah, the Z just can't. It just can't handle. Like it can't handle the corners of the other cars. It just loses traction too much. But yeah. Anyway, guys, that's a 350. It sucks. I hate to say it, but it freaking sucks, man. It just, it can't compete with our leaderboards. Like, I'm not even gonna bother putting times up there. Like, nope. Nope, when I do this in the challenge series, I'll have to see what's close to it, but it is just, man, I'm a sad boy. Sad boy. Leave a, <laughs> leave a rip in the comments below, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.